When it comes to Canada geese, most people will just brush these birds out. If you do so, you're missing out on one of the best parts of the Canada goose, and that's this meat down here on the leg. The leg and thigh meat, to me, is much better than the breast meat. So we're gonna start with this goose, we're gonna take the breasts out, which is pretty standard, and then we'll show you how to take the legs out. So what I do is I usually just, <clears throat> I like to hang the head off something and I find the top of that breastbone right here and I'll get in and I'll get under the skin, I'll peel the skin back and I'll get that tip right underneath and I turn it sideways so that you're not down there puncturing the meat. Get it in there, turn it sideways and then I bring it up and I try to basically split right down the breastbone and then I can come in here and I can start peeling the skin back. And it might take a few tries, especially depending on how you know, fatty the goose is or how tough and old the goose is. Then I start peeling that skin back and you might cut into the breast a little bit and that's okay, but you try not to if you can help it. But I'll usually cut her like that. Everybody's got their own method of doing this and this is just the way that I've found works the best for me. And it tries to, uh, I try to save as much of the meat as possible because I eat Canada goose all the time. I enjoy eating it <clears throat> and we shoot so many of them that it becomes meal time for me and I can get, boy, I can get at least three meals out of one can of use for myself, if not more. Make sure you get that tenderloin. That's a nice piece of meat right under the breast meat there. And then you got these ventricles down here, these vessels, these blood vessels. And I usually, a lot of times I'll just try to cut out around them anyway, because I usually end up trimming them out. So, a lot of times I just trim them out right here if I can. And I know some guys have a ways of doing this quicker and I can do it quicker too, but I like to, and when it comes to food, I try not to rush it too much. So then you got your meat there and you can rinse it off or put it in a pan of water like that and it'll get those feathers off and start pulling the blood out of there. If you want to, if you miss some meat, you can come back in on the breastbone and trim off some of the meat that you missed. It's food, man, don't waste it, right? Some of it's kind of hard to get at, but you can kind of carve. This is always a tough piece right here underneath the bone there. So you can get in there and carve some of that stuff off. When it comes to the legs, they get a little bit tricky. So what I will do is, if you can see here, I'll pull the skin up like this and get right on top of the knee. That's the knee down here, and there's some good meat here. So I'll get my blade, turn it, turn it up, get underneath there, and then I try to come up like this. And I split that so that I can start peeling it down the sides. And when you peel this skin off the sides here, especially on these sides, there's a lot of meat down in here. And if you peel too hard, it'll start pulling the meat off that bone and you don't wanna do that, obviously. So start peeling her down here. You can do some of this by hand. You can get a good grip here and you can start pulling it like so. And once you get to this point, once you got enough the skin peel back because this is the key right here is getting that skin peel back so that you're able to cut this without having to deal with the skin if you leave too much skin it gets real hard to cut and then you get frustrated because you're cutting the wrong place and you can't see what you're doing to get it like that and then the other little trick is you're we're going to pop this hip bone out of the socket so <clears throat> there's a bone here from the leg that goes up into the hip right here and you can just pop this guy like so. Sometimes you gotta cut into her just a hair. I'll go to the gym. I'll go to the gym, yeah. So you can see that I already got the bone popped out of there, but I just gotta cut through some of that meat. And there you can see the, you can see that bone going into that hip socket right there. And it's just, you can get in there with a knife if you want and pop her out like you were, like if you were butchering a deer, but you can just generally pop it out and then get your knife between there and start cutting that away. And if you got your skin peeled back far enough, 
you'll be able to pull that out just like that. So now we got our leg and our thigh meat here. And the next step is to remove the foot. So I always will kind of pull the, pull this feathers off here. If you pull the, pull the skin down like this, a lot of times this hard scaly skin will come down right, right over this, this knee, knee joint. And then once you do that, you can pop it like so. You can pop that one out. And I'll take my knife and this isn't the best for your knives because it'll dull your knife up, but a lot of times you can just come up, you got her pulled away enough. And especially if you got some of that scaly stuff out of there. Now you're left with this piece of meat right here, which is real good meat. Now we'll put that in the water to get all the feathers off and probably brine it a little bit to get the blood out and then cook it. One thing to think about too, when you're hunting early season geese like this, is it was 80 degrees out there and we were on the water, we loaded up the boats, we got back to the house, uh, had a beer, and then you could tell right away that it was getting hot. The flies were out there, they were finding our, our geese already in the back of the boat. So it was time to get them clean. You know, after you hunt, you really should think about these birds as food and less about pile pictures and less about, you know, ah, I'm too tired to clean them right now. You need to either get them cool, uh, get them field dressed, or just get that meat out of them quickly on a hot day like this. As it gets later in the season, it's not as important, but especially on a hot day like this, we actually moved indoors down here into our processing area because it's cooler down here and uh, the flies aren't bothering us too. 